July the 12th, 2020. Guys, I hope everyone's having a great weekend, Have uh, enjoying your friends and family. What you're looking at this morning is Comet Neowise. We've been watching it, and you've had to get up very early in the morning to see this. But now that's changing because it's getting higher in the sky as it heads towards the North Star, north, northwest. This is an image from uh, Paleo Bardelli, photographed after sunset in Italy. So in, instead of having to get up early in the morning, check this out, just after sunset. And this is where it's going to start really getting... Uh, really getting nice as if you like watching these type of events. But it said, Bardelli said, thanks to clear skies, I was able to see the comet very low in the north, northwest. We'll look at some sky maps on that in a couple other images as this thing is getting brilliant because as it's getting higher and we're getting more images of it as the earth is rotating and the reflection from the sun, they're now saying Neowise is five thousand meters wide not the glow but the actual rock itself the inner nucleus five thousand kilometers think about that for a moment and you'll understand why when you see some of these other images now this is the sky map for today and this is looking east before sunrise but remember now after sunset each day you'll be able to see it longer into the night but uh comet neowise is here east northeast when we first started watching it remember it was almost due east where the sun was rising but the, as the earth is rotating you can see that now comet neowise is further uh, northeast than the sun and mercury as they rise and it's uh, right there but again look at where the sun rises this is in the morning and then to your left just slightly but now we're getting these evening pictures Check this one out. This is uh, over Greece, guys, yesterday. Look at that, look over this mountain range. So we pull it down, you can see how clear the picture is. But this thing's huge. Again, 5,000 meters wide on the inside rock. And, and they can measure that because it's a proportion of the glow. But again, look at that. You don't see this. Many people will never see this in their lifetime. So you need to start, you know, checking out, out if you enjoy these things. And what's really nice, instead of having to get up super early again, you can start catching this after sunset. And as it rises higher, it will be one of those all-night events before it's over with. And they were saying we wouldn't, uh, more than likely, would not start getting the uh, morning shot, excuse me, the evening shots until about the 15th, so we're a couple of days ahead. They're saying the glow is proportional to the size of the nucleus, the nugget of dust and frozen gas at the heart of the comet. From its infrared signature, we can tell the nucleus is about 5 kilometers across. 5 kilometers is extremely large for a comet approaching this close to the sun. It, think Comet McNaught's size, which explains its high activity. On July 3rd, Comet Neowise passed by the sun near the orbit of Mercury. The oversized nucleus helped it survive the encounter, which some comets would have found too hot to handle, and we've seen them disintegrate. And we're getting images from around the world. This is out of Liverpool in the UK, Mr. Vincent Phillips. You've got the comet coming down, and you've got uh, the blue clouds are called Noctilusa, and they're basically meteor dust, meteorites. And so, uh, because they're trapped in the highest section of the Earth's atmosphere, these are the tallest clouds, they freeze there. Been a lot of meteorites and uh, meteor showers. But we're watching it, guys. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.